I'm objective, I would say Tyson Fury. Speaking of what of myself, I would still say Tyson Fury. Obviously, I'm not counting Yusik uh, out. I know he can uh, win this fight. He has a very good chance, maybe even. But um, I still go for Tyson. It's fight week, and as you'd expect, boxing professionals have come in their numbers to reveal their picks and predictions ahead of the fight. It's the ring of fire, and it's spreading really fast. I'm looking forward to that fight. Really, that's going to be interesting fight. I'm going to wonder. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just going to overpower him. Kind of catch up with him, overpower him. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Little guys are difficult to fight because they're harder to hit because they're smaller. And I think Usyk's going to beat Fury. I just think it's close, it's tight. With yeah. the way Fury struggled against Ngano, I just think it's a tough fight for Fury to win because Alexander Usyk doesn't know how to lose. He's so good, such a top amateur, great. And while some think the fire will burn in Fury's favor, others believe Alexander Usyk has what it takes to set the ring on fire himself. Usyk has to move around a lot and he, he's going to be moving, using the ring up and he's going to be in and out. He's not going to be, you know, easy fight for uh, Tyson Fury. Well, the belt's going to travel back home to Ukraine. A win for, Ty for Tyson Fury, simple as that. You know, I'm going to be straight out, I'm leaning towards Usyk. I've got Fury. We're now just a few days away from one of the most highly anticipated fights in boxing history as Tyson Fury and Alexander Dusik face off with all the greats in the sport giving their predictions as we head into the final countdown. The two heavyweights will finally meet in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia on Saturday, the 18th of May, with the winner becoming the first undisputed heavyweight champion of the four belt era, as well as unifying the division for the first time since Alex Lewis defeated Evander Holyfield in November 1999. The stage is set perfectly for the biggest heavyweight title fight in decades, with all the biggest stars in the boxing world having their final say ahead of the Ring of Fire showdown. That bastard right there. Woo! Nice little elbow right in the eye. Fury and Yusik were originally due to face off on February 17th. But the Mormon-born fighter was forced to withdraw after suffering a cut above his eye in sparing Tyson Fury can become the undisputed world heavyweight champion on Saturday night when he fights Alexander Usyk in the much-anticipated unification fight heavyweight boxing has not had an undisputed heavyweight champion since 1999 and victory for Fury would cement his status as the best of his generation speaking in an exclusive interview with Telegraph Sport Fury said he is not thinking about legacy and his only priority is getting paid Usyk promises to be stiff opposition However, having retained his International Boxing Federation, World Boxing Association, and World Boxing Organization titles when he stopped Daniel Dubois in the ninth round of his previous fight, Fury is looking to bounce back from his last bout when he was knocked down by former USC champion Francis before winning on his split decision. You've obviously been him against Wilder. People are regarded as one of the heaviest punches of all time. How hard does he punch? He punches hard, but it was a bit like a, a hook on the back of the head to knock down in round whatever it was, three. But oh, yeah, apart from that, he didn't really get me much help. Many of the biggest names in boxing have been interviewed ahead of the fight, and they made their picks and predictions ahead of the fight. Many think that Fury will become the undisputed champion, including Daniel Dubois Francis, and of course, John and Tommy Fury. While others believe Usyk will come away with the win, Usyk also predicted himself to win in the video, saying, There is no destiny, God is giving me the opportunity, and I am going to use it. As for Fury, he is as confident as ever, saying, I am going to knock him out. I can knock him out, or I can outbox him. Either way, I'll let him take his pick. Interestingly, British great Anthony Joshua was one of those tipping the Ukrainian to win, perhaps knowing better than anyone just how good the Ukrainian really is having lost to him twice in his career. Former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua could face the winner down the line once Fury and Usyk had their contracted rematch. I try and be here. I tend not to go to many fights, but Saad's putting on really good shows, and that's an iconic fight. So I'll try and get out here with my team and the former world heavyweight champion, Reckons his former foe will do the business calling him a phenomenal fighter I fought us. So I can only speak on what I've experienced with him phenomenal fighter. I would say he's going to do a really good job he said I've never fought Fury. So I can't speak on what it's like to face him I'm only speaking on what I know I have to say Usyk will be victorious Joshua lost his world titles to Usyk before losing the immediate rematch but Aj has since rattled off four wins in a row including big wins over O.T. Wallen and Francis ahead of of Fury and Usyk won a battle for all the marbles matchroom Chief Hearn also made his stunning U-turn in his prediction, the English promoter originally sided with his fellow countrymen, 
before picking the former cruiserweight world champion, but the 44-year-old now believes Fury will not only win, but also stop us. And be here. I tend not to go to many fights, but Saudi's putting on really good shows and that's an iconic fight, so I'll try and get out here with my team. Also, Mike Tyson was asked about his pick ahead of the match between Alexander Yusik and Tyson Fury, and he not only predicted the outcome, he also gave a detailed analysis of his thoughts on the match. Mike Tyson is fully aware of what it takes to step into the ring and partake in huge heavyweight clashes with so much on the line the former world champion will be watching this weekend when Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik meet with all four world titles up for grabs and speaking to a reputable news source, Iron Mike Tyson gave his prediction for the fight and broke down how he believes it will go. He said, hey, we should not focus on what Fury did against Francis, but you have to understand that he is still the champion he made that night a great night. He gave Francis the opportunity and that was just a bad night at the office for him. We all have bad nights. And listen, that was his bad night. I look forward to that fight, Fury versus us. That is going to be an interesting fight. Mike Tyson said, I'm going look forward to that fight. Really, that's going to be interesting. F wonder I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just going to overpower him, catch up with him, overpower. That's what I think I could be wrong. Little guys are difficult to fight because they're harder to hit. See you, they're small. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just going to overpower him. He's going to catch up with him and overpower him. I got to go with Fury. I think he's the best fighter in the world, especially in the heavyweight division. Great fighters lose great fighters look bad. That doesn't stop them from being great fighters. Since defeating Deontay Wilder to win the WBC crown back in March 2020, Fury has defended his title against Wilder, Dillian White, and Derek Chisora, while Usyk defended his unified titles against Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. I think Tyson Fury wins the fight. I mean, it all depends on if what we saw in the Ngannou fight was just him not taking it seriously, or you know, if it was him in decline, he's gonna have a tough night against Usyk. I think he's gonna be. Tony Bell believes Usyk's ability to set traps sets him apart from other heavyweights after feeling his full force in their cruiserweight contest back back in 2018. When I fought him nearly six years ago, I, I had a small idea of what to expect, but when you're in the ring with him, it's totally different, Bello told a news source. Forward to that fight. I mean, that's going to be interesting fight. I'm wonder. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just going to overpower him. He's going to catch up with him overpower him. I feel that thing. I could be wrong. Little guys are difficult to fight because they're harder to hit. His brain and feet are on another level to pretty much anything I've ever encountered, and don't forget that I was an amateur who went all around the world sparring boxers from some of the most decorated countries. Make him miss, make him reach, and make him pay at times. Whereas with someone like Tyson Fury, he's now. And that is the worst thing in the world you can do. Because the minute you try to this boy, he then recalled his fight with Usyk six years ago. You never feel fully in control with Usyk. And I've always believed that being able to fight calmly when under pressure is one of the biggest assets a fighter can have his slight movement with his feet and his feints always have you thinking and his ability to set traps you don't even see coming is something else. Also, Bubba anticipates Fury trying to use his size and his versatility to bully his opponent, but feels Usyk will be too good on the night and Fury Usyk will have a big problem to solve because Fury is also an intelligent fighter. And if he uses his size the way he should, he can cause Usyk some serious issues. The former world boxing crewweight champion added Fury's ability to fight from both stances and his movement for such a big man means that he can also make his opponents think non-stop. If you want another example of his variety, then look at his fight with Klitschko, where he essentially bullied the veteran champion. He also added detailing Fury's advantages over Usyk. And you're going to drastically, you know, you look at the fight that he's fought and he's been, he's gone to every single champion's backyard and their patch and beat them up on their patch. Uh, the job that he got uh, on Morek Garcia in Russia was absolutely phenomenal. He did not take a shot. As well, like and subscribe, press the button. For more updates, see you in the next one.